Hi, welcome to this video on OCR Computing A Level, and this is on string manipulation. If you look at this program we've set up here in Visual Studio, um, we have two strings here. String 1, which is BCDADACS, and string 2, which is BBCADSD. Uh, this is in C. Right. One thing we need to know about strings is a string is an array, therefore, position 1 starts here. As we know from arrays, we start at 0. So position 2 is actually called position 1. So we've got 0, 1. Let's move that back. 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the same here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, let's have a look at the first manipulation we can do, which is called locate. This finds the position of a string within the string. Okay, so if we wanted to look up DAC here, we should find its starting position, which should be this value. So we should be going for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it should tell us it starts at 4 in this string 1. The way we do it, uh, I've done it in a, a way that I've set up a letter found integer as a variable and now I've made that letter found equal to this result here and then when I go for my output over here it outputs the variable letter found so if we have a look at this string one dot find DAC should find us in position 0 1 2 3 4 so if I run that quickly we'll see a lot of results but hopefully we'll just see the first result there to easily identify it And there we have it, BCDADCS at location 4. So we know that's right. Right, so let's look at the next one, left. Right, this one, quite obviously, finds the first letter in the string because it finds the letter to the left of the string. So again, looking at string 1, we should find, I've done it differently this way, I haven't put it as in a separate variable, but that's fine. We should find, when we're looking for front, it's called left usually, but when we're looking for front in C++, it'll find the first character of the first character to the left of the string. So again, if we look at that, first letter in the string is the letter B. Yes, that works. Right, next one is mid. Um, again, C++ does this slightly differently to some languages. This time it finds the position at a certain location that we put in the parentheses. Some languages will find the middle character exactly in the middle. But C++ can do that. You can do that by working it out using the left and the right and the mid with the calculation. In this instance, we're just going to find which character is at position 4. So if we run it, letter in the string position 4, spell position wrong, is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, which is the letter D, and that's correct. Next one is right. This is where we want to access the last character. And again, in C++, it doesn't use the word right, it uses the word back. And so in this case, what we should be finding is the last character of this string, and the last letter in this string is S, as you can see here, and it tells us correctly that it's S. Next one is length, should be obvious. We use this for checking passwords and validation. In other words, the size of the string, and if the string is a certain size of a length, then it's accepted for a password. And you just simply use string1.length in C++. So again, if we look at it, length is 8 so that's easy enough as well right next thing we need we can do is convert between characters and their ascii equivalent number so in java there's actually an inbuilt function to do this and i think it's called convert to ascii however in c++ we don't have this but we can do it using the following uh, methodology or following method so here we have an integer that we've called ascii variable so we've got our ASCII variable and we're going to set it to this value here. So putting this bracket in here, it's telling us that we're going to convert the string 1.front to an integer. So we're converting our first letter of a string to an integer. And then we're going to output what that integer is here, output in our variable. So if we output it, what we find is the first character is 66. Now if I go and have a look at ASCII codes, Oh, 
what I will find, hopefully, is that the first character, which is 66, is the right value. So it's capital letter B, according to that. And if we look what we've done here, is we've done the opposite to work out what the character of a number is. So we've got our 66 pulled in here, and we converted that to a char. And that will then output, and as you can see, that outputs it as a capital B. So we know that has converted correctly in both instances. Okay. Uh, the last thing we want to talk about is concatenation. And this is quite simple. When you want to join two strings together to output as uh, one string, uh, the appearance of one string. So here we have string 1 plus string 2, and it will just concatenate them, which means add them together. And there we have both strings added together so it appears as one string. Okay, so that's how you can manipulate strings using C++. You need to know this for your exam. Um, you get asked a variety of different questions, so I'd suggest you go and look at the past paper questions there. Um, the concatenation one's an important one that will probably come up, um, and it can come up in pseudocode or in actual uh, writing it in the actual code that you use in your high-level language, i.e. C++ for us in this instant, instance. Um, the other ones you might get asked in your language that you use rather than theory because there are differences. But just go and try the past paper questions to be sure. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you come back for more.